Hello everybody, I hope uh, up to now you have enjoyed the videos. Uh, this is the second video for on the text mining and this is going to be the last video on orange and if you want me to cover other parts of the orange please let me know in the comments I can add in the future too. So this is going to be the last video of this series. Now I'm going to just show you also how can you do it on Wikipedia like you're curious like if you don't have API for example it takes time for you to make API. So Wikipedia, I'm just going to say Wikipedia, cool. And I just already chose two words, Germany versus USA, for example. And I said five articles per query, okay? It's just because I don't want it to be slow. So let this, you know, run. It will take a bit of time. A couple of seconds. I'm going to show you one, some cool, another cool widget here that it's useful. Imagine you want to see, okay, this uh, data you're choosing, now it's clear, Germany and USA, where in the world they are in the, in the map. You can just say geomap, okay, and when it's done, it's going to show you where this the world they are coming from. So you see this is Germany, this is United States, and still United States, you see, United States, United States, and Germany, that's cool. Now, we can see this in a corpus viewer, sorry, and um, yes, there you go, these are the articles. Now, let's do pre-processing, text pre-processing, which is going to be, and we can see this in a word cloud again, yep, there you go, Germany, world, United States, and also, now we want to see if we can do some machine learning over here again, bag of words, first you should make a bag of words, we're going to select our data, select columns again, Um, let's see in a data table what's going on. It takes time for it to come. I want to see what is that feature three it's taking. It's too heavy. Ignore this. Our target variable should be the title. Okay. Um, query. I mean the class. I'm sorry. I said title. Query. Like you have Germany versus United States. Now I'm gonna co connect this to test and score. Okay. And then. Here I'm going to just do logistic regression because I don't want to, you can do any number of tests you want, like different models. But I'm just going to run logistic regression. I hope it doesn't take too long. If it takes too long, I have to stop the video. But it should be fine. It takes a bit of time because you're looking at a Wikipedia article. They're much longer than tweets, right? So it takes a bit long just because of that. Let me just, you know, while this is rolling and again talk about the procedure. So again, let's wrap it up. Here you have, on this one, you have a Wikipedia, right? You know, like you can open here and choose two subjects you want and get the articles and make a training data. This is, can be training. And then make a test data over here and see if it actually relates to uh, any of those subjects, right? And also this bag of words again, you know, this just, you know, the frequency count, you can do binary. Oh, ooh. I shouldn't have done that. Count. It's going to do again and again. So this is going to take a bit time. I'll stop it right here and I remove all of these things because I want to talk about the next one. Uh, in the next, now, in what I'm going to do, I have some data set downloaded from UC Irvine's for machine learning. So I can just import documents over here. Let's go there. And in desktop, I have in my desktop, I made something called talk. Yep. And the data sets are actually again in my GitHub page. I'll post the GitHub page again in the bottom um, of this video in the description. So this is called spam and ham. Let me explain to you something. When you do, when you want to have that, so what I did, I had to engineer this data myself. So put all hams in the ham data set, in the ham folder, and spam in the spam folder. 
because Orange understands each folder as a class. So if I open spam and ham, it's going to take a bit of time. So let it load. Uh -huh. While it's loading, so it's going to do, we can do some spam versus non spam, right? Uh, it's a bit of, you know, I actually reduced the data. I don't know how to pause quick player. Let me check. How can I pause that? Mm. Quick time player. I don't see how can I pause it actually. I thought you should be able to. It's going to take a long time so for you too when you're doing that. Now I'm going to just see this in the corpus viewer as soon as it comes up. Let's build it up and then as soon as it comes out you want to pre-process it, right? Pre-process the text. And then when it's pre-processed I'm going to give it to bag of words, right? To make my bag of words. And then from there, what I want to do, I want to just, you know, let's look at it when it comes out. Word cloud. And I'm going to do data sampling for my machine learning approach. And I'm going to give it to, oh, actually it's come, it's came up. Okay. Yeah, you see, these are like uh, spam versus not spam messages which come to your mobile phone. Now, what I want to do, I want to choose a part of the data, not all of it, because it's a lot of data set. Uh, sampling type, I want to just fix proportion. No, I do 50% of it. Okay, 60, 70%. And I'm just going to give this to test and score. Good to go. And from here, the remaining is the test data. It understands that. I'm going to not do that anymore. Just do mm, test and train and test and test because cross validation will take all a lot. And I can just do logistic regression over here. I'm sorry it's taking too long because. You know, it's orange, I told you. If you really want to do machine learning, you shouldn't do it in orange, like, you know, if you have a very huge data set like this, because it takes a long time. I would suggest you to write a Python code, use TensorFlow or Torch for this matters. I'm going to, you know, eh, stop here the video. When you're done with this, you can see it in a confusion matrix. Actually, okay. I'm gonna wait two more minutes if it doesn't work. So basically, again, you know, you can run as many as tests you want uh, on this on the on the data sets and check the results over here and see how it works. So I'm not gonna continue on. Oh, it worked. Okay, good. Yeah, 99% accuracy. It's actually working, and let's see confusion matrix. So spam versus non-spam. You see the spam one we have five misclassification because over time this spam ones are getting better and better so you can look at it in a corpus viewer uh -huh. select the data the spam one select misclassified and it will show you which messages came to be good right came to be too good that our classification could not classify them correctly as a spam. So I hope you enjoyed this video series. I wanted to show you one more thing before going. I have one more data set that just as the for the end of the video, which is called Philadelphia crime data. Reload. Let's see this data set because it's a good data. I just downloaded it from internet from the Philadelphia Criminal Justice Department. 
you see we have the location, you know, exactly the latitude and longitude. Now what can we do with this? Let's look at it on GeoMap. This time, Geo Map. Um, not that Geo Map. There is another Geo Map, which is for. Let's see if this one is going to show latitude, longitude. No, this is showing in the United States. I am sure there is another Geo Map. Usually, it should give to me. Map, heat map, let okay. Uh, I will make another video and explain show this to this cool one too. I will make it work before that. And I hope you enjoyed this video up to now. And hopefully, in the last video, which I thought is gonna be the last video, but I think I should show you that when it's a cool one. The next video, I'll show that. And if you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy machine learning.